Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is to be feared a great king over all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing praises with a psalm. God reigns over the nations. God sits on His holy throne. The princes of the peoples gather as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. This psalm is known to have been written during the time of David when the Ark of the Covenant was being brought into the Mount Zion. If Psalm 24 was singing about moving the Ark from the house of Obed-Edom to the Mount Zion, Psalm 47 is singing about its moving into the tabernacle. It is referenced in verse 5, God has gone up with a shout. In this case, God referring to the Ark of the Covenant. Alternately, it is an allusion to the ascension of Jesus, the Messiah, to the heavenly Zion after completing his mission on earth. This psalm urges believers to sing praises to the king who is enthroned, the king over all the earth, verse 2 says, who is to be highly exalted by his people. The psalmist constantly instructs to sing and praise. It reveals to us three elements of praises to God this morning. Number one, firstly, is why to praise. The biggest reason for us to sing praises to God is because of God's sovereignty. Verse 2 says, For the Lord the Most High is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. Verse 6 says, Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our king, sing praises. Verse 7, For God is the king of all the earth, sing praises with a psalm. God is king of kings. God's throne is holy. The more we obey it to the sovereign power of God, the more holiness and peace and, and joy that we ought to experience in Him. So we got to praise God because He is the king. He is sovereign. He is the most powerful. That's the entire reason to praise Him all the time, nevertheless, of our circumstances. Secondly, how to praise God. Do not praise because you, you, know, you must praise God uh, by force of others. or you know, Do not do it merely out of legalism. Verse 1 says, Clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. We must sing praises with joyful heart. Not only you are singing with fun, but you also must realize who God is and proclaim it accordingly. Shout to God with loud songs of joy, it says in verse 1. Secondly, all people must sing, dancing and singing with joy and exalting God with loud voices. It's not only for the extroverts or those who are musical. Praising God is not only for a few, but for all people. Clap your hands, all people, it says in verse 1. All people, meaning all those people of God who confess God as their king, like in verse 6 says. And lastly, where to praise. Verse 4 says, He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob whom he, whom he loves. What is our heritage as Christians? 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3-5 to five says this, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to His great mercy, He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith and for a salvation ready to be revealed 
in the last time. The heritage of our earthly belongings are perishable, but we as heirs of God's kingdom will receive imperishables of heaven. For this Christ died, for this Christ resurrected, and that is God's great mercy. So where should we praise this God of mercy? On earth as it is in heaven. Also in heaven, singing a new song before the throne of God, just like in Revelation 14.3. We will be singing until that last day, until we see Jesus Christ face to face. We ought to praise Him forever and even continue that in heaven in the arms of our God. So today, this psalm tells us we got to praise God nevertheless of our circumstances because He is the King. And secondly, we can praise God with joyful heart, but not only for a few, but all people are instructed to sing and praise God with joy and the full heart for Him. And lastly, we are going to praise God forever on earth as it is in heaven. And let that be a blessing word and encouraging words to you. And let's continue to praise Him through our life today. <laughs>